All right, let's write the condensed electron configuration for carbon. We'll start out with the full configuration for carbon, and that's 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. If you need help with this, there's a link at the end of this video and in the description. So we have our full electron configuration, but with condensed electron configurations, what we want to do is we want to have that highest energy level. That would be the second energy level right here. This is our highest energy level. We want that on the end, and then we condense the energy levels beneath it. With carbon, there's really not much. There's the 1s2, but we can still do this. So we go to the periodic table, and we can see carbon's right here. It has an atomic number of six. That means it has six protons, but since all these elements are neutral, it'll have six electrons. And if you count these up, two plus two plus two, that gives us the six. So what we want to do is find an element that only has two. That would be helium. And in fact, when we write these electron configurations here, we'll always have the condensed part being one of the noble gases. So instead of 1s2, we're going to write He. We're going to put it in brackets, and then we'll bring this part here down, like this. So this is the condensed electron configuration for carbon. We have our highest energy level. These are the valence electrons. And then we have our noble gas core here written in brackets. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.